Jilted husband is getting a multi-million dollar payday from the man he says ruined his marriage. Keith King sued his wife's lover after a dramatic confrontation and won. ABC's Diane Macedo has that story. Why are you taking my wife? Guys, come. Why are you taking my wife from me? It's a final plea from a desperate husband. Staining, you're taking him over me? This video shows BMX stunt show owner Keith King fighting for his wife, Danielle. The man holding him in the doorway is Francisco Hizar, his wife's lover. Stop trying to enter. You can hear Danielle in the background as she films the whole ordeal. I don't want this. I don't want it to be like this. Danny, why did you lie to me? Now, in an unusual court case, a judge is ordering Hizar to pay more than eight and a half million dollars for the affair. Francisco, do you hear that? She's my wife, man. I felt like we were a perfect pair. We were a team. King says he found out about the betrayal in 2015 after seeing phone records to a number he didn't recognize. He decided to confront his R directly. So when he answered, I simply said, she is a married woman. Do not contact her ever again. Instead, his R rented a hotel room less than a mile from King's home, and the affair continued. That's when King filed a civil complaint against Tazar, citing an obscure law, alienation of affection. The law requires that you and your spouse had a happy marriage, the love and affection between you and your spouse was destroyed, and that the defendant and their wrongful or malicious actions were the reason the marriage was destroyed. King gathered text messages, Facebook posts, phone records, and hotel receipts, aiming to prove his R's actions drove a wedge between him and his wife. The difficulty is proving that first element that the plaintiff and his spouse, his or her spouse, actually did have a happy marriage when this affair happened. The alienation of affection law exists in six states, including North Carolina, where King made his claim. What I've endured is I've compared it to like a, a nuclear bomb going on around my surroundings.